the holiday travel season because it's now in full swing as we take a live look at Newark Airport. And Port Authority predicts our local airports in the tri-state will see, set a new record for travelers. More than 5 million passengers are expected to travel in and out of Newark, Kennedy and LaGuardia airports. That would top the record set in 2019 pre-pandemic. And if you're driving, you can also expect a lot of company on the roads. AAA says it expects more than 104 million people will drive to their holiday destinations. Tomorrow and next Thursday are expected to be the busiest days on the road. Now the holidays bring people together and with big crowds expected for New Year's Eve in Times Square, we are taking a closer look at law enforcement's latest threat assessment. Investigative reporter Dan Krauth covering that security angle for us. Meteorologist Lee Goldberg has the travel forecast and we're going to begin with Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo. He's live at LaGuardia Airport where overcrowded, not exactly a word that is being used very much today, Anthony. No, uh, Bill, Sandra, we're off to a great start. You know, talk about an early Christmas present. It's been pretty quiet here at LaGuardia all day. We know that there are millions of people flying, but the best indication of how things are going, just take a look there at the flight boards. As you can see, a majority of all of the flights are on time right now. You check the wait times to pass through security. You know what? It's only minutes, an early Christmas gift. But you know what? There are still a few people out there feeling like great. The holiday travel rush, more of a snooze for Emily Newton and her husband. Their Southwest Airlines flight delayed. We got here early <laughs> and now we get to, to sit here an extra few hours. But um, I think that's the risk that you take if you travel this time of year. It's the biggest holiday travel season in years. LaGuardia, JFK and Newark are expecting 5.2 million people, the most since 2019, between now and January 2nd. That's when Ankita will head home. My flight is next on January 2, probably like at 5, I'll be there by 1. <laughs> she says she waited hours to pass through TSA security today before flying into LaGuardia. Others, however, pleasantly surprised. This couple had a laundry list of complaints ready. The last time I flew was JFK and it was a nightmare. Maybe a nasty cab driver, people who are stressed out here that are angry with each other, that sort of irritation building up. On the contrary, just three days before Christmas, it all looks smooth, almost too smooth. It's a very good vibe today. The vibes have been good for U.S. Airlines this year, with only 1.2% of flights canceled, the lowest in five years. TSA is screening 2.5 million people today, urging them to show up early. Stephanie has a lot riding on a smooth flight. We're headed to Oklahoma City to see my son who's in the Air Force and his wife who's also in the Air Force. Um, they got married back in June and we're traveling to see them and meet our new in-laws. As they meet the parents, they pray no luggage is lost. Emily lost some time with their delay, but not their optimism. So you have to have Christmas joy. And I hope everybody gets that reference. I don't know if you remember the movie Meet the Parents, but Ben Stiller, he was certainly dealing with a lot of stress while he was trying to pack his luggage on a very packed plane. Another live look here at LaGuardia Airport. As you can see, you know, people are moving leisurely. There are lots of people, but there are not a lot of angry people. So I have to clarify what I said earlier. Not too many Grinches out here, but there will be over 5 million people passing through the area's major airports between now and January 2nd. So there is room for things to go wrong. We'll keep that Christmas spirit.